all right so i am home now and i'm feeling so much better i'm almost back to normal i can talk and swallow still got a little bit of a something going on but the medication and the antibiotics to get me on helping drastically so basically what happened was we went up to jackman found a camping spot we we're going to camp out and do a bunch of exploring activities and stuff like that but the first night went fine the second day everything was fine then around 9 30 my throat started to hurt and i didn't think anything of it so you know being a mainer i cracked another beer and said i'm gonna i'm golden let's go and it just kept gradually getting worse so i stopped drinking the beer and i was hoping it was gonna get better but it didn't so we decided to head back um and a good thing we did because it was just getting worse by the time i got back and got into the hospital it was swelled up so much that i couldn't even swallow um it was it was almost hard to breathe um couldn't talk at all barely without it hurting um they wanted to they did a cat scan they did a bunch of other stuff then they decided that they wanted to keep me overnight just to make sure um they pumped me full of ivs as you can see i gotta go take a shower i just got home they uh drained blood like vampires um my white blood count blood cell count was 17,000 and I guess they said it's supposed to be under 10,000 I'm not a doctor so but I'm I'm doing better now guys I appreciate everybody that was concerned and that messaged me with you know prayers and get better that is so totally wonderful um appreciate all you guys um so that's what happened uh, i'm like i said i'm feeling much better now and i'm almost want to go metal detecting right now to be honest with you but i'm not gonna i'm gonna sit down in the house i'm gonna relax i'm gonna finish this video of what i did get from our trip hope you guys all enjoy it uh and then i'll see you guys later tonight for the drawing and the giveaway um on the giveaway i'm just pretty much gonna i'm gonna go through figure out everybody who filled all the checks uh, checked all the boxes um subscribed liked the, the video commented all that stuff and then i'm just gonna put all the names in a hat i'm gonna shake it all up i'm gonna draw one out and we're gonna chill out for a bit um i'm gonna show you some treasure i'm gonna show you some of the stuff i found last year um we'll talk for a bit i don't know how long the video is gonna be because i am still a little exhausted um I plan to have a bonfire and do a bunch of stuff, but I'm not going to do that now, unfortunately, and I'm sorry. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video of what I did get from our trip and some of the sights we saw. And keep on nature, and we'll see you next time. I appreciate everybody. See ya. camping trip Giggity. where the hell we're going we haven't figured it out quite yet we got a little bit of an idea but right now we are headed into town get fueled up get food get all the supplies we need for the trip we got the metal detectors all the gear in the back and in the camper um, I will get a walk around of the whole thing when we get to the nearest store or whatever coming up here on the right uh, probably not the gas station probably wait until we get to like Hannaford or wherever we're getting food at but um, that way I can actually get a good walk around for you but yeah, that's what's going on. So we'll see you in a little bit and enjoy the video, enjoy the trip. 
we'll see what happens. All right, we got all of our food. Um, we got burgers, we got hot dogs, we got chips. I almost left it behind. Yeah, we almost left it at Chop and Save because we're so eager to get going after we put the propane tanks in. We just took off. Well, almost, almost took off. We started getting in the truck and then we were like, oh, the groceries. <laughs> we're, we're like, oh, the beer and the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we got beer, we got all that stuff. Um, yeah, we're heading out. We're gonna head towards Bingham, up towards uh, the Forks. We're gonna go try to see if we can get up by Moxie Falls or something out that way. Should be an interesting trip. Um, we got told that there was a lot of roads flooding out and stuff up that way. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out on our own how much truth there is in that or if it's just side roads or what, but we'll figure it out and then we're gonna find ourselves a campsite up that way. Maybe hit up the Moxie Falls, do some fishing, all that. So uh, we'll see you when we get further into the state here. All right, we just came, or we're coming into Bingham here in a few minutes here. Um, then we're gonna just stay right on 201 and we're heading up to the Forks and then we're gonna head up to see Moxie Falls and we'll take you guys down and show you the falls. So stay tuned, see you in a little bit. We are in Bingham. Bingham, Bingham, Bingham. Bingo, Bingo. Is that ski slopes over there? Yep. Cool. We'll get more footage when it comes along. These are all birdhouses and helmets and I don't there's know, a, some sort of memorial or what. There's a whole bunch of them. It started back yeah, there. Yeah, it started way back there, but I didn't get the camera going in time. Just random, random birdhouses. Sorry, we're going a little fast, but... Yeah, the whole wall was covered with birdhouses and, and firefighter helmets. Made and out of birdhouses. Yeah, there was uh, wooden moose heads and all kinds of stuff on it. It was pretty cool. All so if you ever houses. get up this way, check that out. It's pretty cool. All right, first stop of the day. We had to stretch our legs. All right, it's hard to read because of the rain, but it says this tablet marks the place where Colonel Benedict Arnold with his soldiers left the Kennebec River October 1775 and marched from the west shore in northern westerly in a northern in a northwesterly direction sorry to the Dead River on their way to the Quebec placed by the Kennebec chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution 1916 pretty cool view guys and then we got another little plaque thing over here. We'll go check that out. A great carrying place. All right, so he's, we are right here. And they, they went all the way up through here. So the Appalachian National Scenic Trail goes right through on the Green Line. And Arnold's Trail goes this way. To the dead river so if you want to read this pause it and go ahead and check it all out the arnold expedition historical society maine department of agriculture conservation and forestry pretty cool so that was our first stop we'll see you at the next one all right guys we are walking up in to moxie falls so when I get up there, I'll get some recording for you. This is what I hate. So we're walking down through here and, and people are drinking drinks and just setting them down on the side of the trail. Left it. Come to our state and then you litter. Don't like that shit. It's a little bit of a walk down in here. Not too far. There's lots of people today. We'll see you at the falls. We're still walking. And walking. It looks it's cool. beautiful out here though. So that's pretty cool. When we get out here, you'll see these falls. Are, they always were amazing. I haven't been here in years, so we're gonna find out. We're almost there. I don't think I've ever been there. We're almost there. So I'll show you the falls in a second. 
I hear in the water. It's probably slippery as shit. We're getting closer. We're almost there. Welcome to Moxie Falls. And we are at platform number one. My name's on here somewhere, but I don't remember where. Years ago. Pretty cool. Can we walk down this way? I'm just sending all these videos. Had to get a picture, folks. Yes, sir. Oh, Vinny's on, huh? Beautiful. Can it stop here? No, it goes up the hill. Then we're gonna go up the hill, so I'll record once we get up there. All right, coming, coming around to the next platform. Look at this. We'll see you in a second. Look at that. Beautiful. Max Falls. Hey, come around. Super cool, guys. All right, super beautiful. Glad I could bring you guys. So that's Moxie Falls. We'll see you at the next place. All right, guys, I think this is a, like a memorial or whatever. 729 of 05. Garth Coon. Maybe I'll have to look it up, but I think probably didn't have a good day. So. All right, we're gonna go down here and check this out. Cool. Badger cool. cast an official pull right into that pool. Ready? Cool. That country dirt road. Here we go.
working on finding our campsite. See you in a minute. All right, so we were turning around and there's just a camper in a car or something like that down there and they set, st set off their car alarm and we didn't think anything of it. But then we started to drive off and they started doing it again. So we're gonna just go check and see if they needed help because this first thing we both thought of was like, you know, maybe they need help. So we'll go see. Pull right back. Well, you should have backed right into there and walk down and see if they're okay. Or just back down and I'll, and we'll, I'll ask them. Just don't crash into them. All right. We'll see you guys in a minute. We'll see what's up. I didn't mean to say anything. Wait a minute. Stop right there. Oh, we're all set. We we were turning around and the car alarm was going off here, oh, so off we didn't twice. know if they needed help or something. So we oh, were... so you're doing the same thing we're asking you, and you're going down to that. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, we just didn't know. We started drive off. We were like, huh? So we're going back and check just in case. Right. Nobody in there. No. I think they're all right. Somebody over there. Yeah, they're probably over there. All right. Well, I guess it was a false alarm, but it never hurts to stop and check. Nope. See, everybody does that around here. Even those people are stopping to see if we were all right. <laughs> all right. So, all right. All right, so it's been like probably 20 years since I've been up here camping. And then uh, 14 years since our map was made. <laughs> and every campsite that's been uh, we found up here that was empty says no camping. So we don't know what we're doing. If we can't, we're gonna try to find a place to turn around, I think. Well, we'll go a little further here. But we're gonna have to, because there's no place to turn around. But, um, yeah, we'll probably, if we don't see anything in a while, we'll turn around and, shit, we might just go right to the end of this road and park in that giant freaking parking lot and camp. And then figure out a plan and move tomorrow. Don't know, we'll see what happens. Look at this beautiful campsite. And then there's a sign. It says no camping. And we've gone everywhere. There's a number, you wanna call them? Sure. When you get out of the road, you gotta close your door. No, just take the number, we'll call them. Pain in the ass sometimes. Well, after all that, we talked to a guy that's from around here and he told us to he told us to tear the sign down and just camp there and nobody would say anything. And I was like, I am not. But look what I found here. Moose bones. I got a moose jawbone. That is awesome. I am keeping that, Dave. Right. Check it out. Hell yeah, buddy. That's awesome. Dave's peeing. Let's see what else we got for bones. And then the stream, we just walk down this road and it streams right over there so we can do some fishing. Catch some trout. Oh, look at that, dude. What'd you find? A moose hoof. Oh, yeah. They're all over the place, dude. Oh, yeah. Some animals got hold of a moose out here. Probably somebody was moose hunting and this is the leftovers. This, this, this is bear country. I'm keeping these, man. These are awesome. That is awesome. Cool. We'll see you guys in a minute. We got to get set up. I found the rest of the moose. So we're parked near. Oh, yeah. This is. Well, maybe not. I don't know if this was somebody's kill or not. No, this is animal drug. You see all the prints over there? Yeah, but I was, yeah, fairly. There's more over here, I think. Nope, it's just a log.
Well, this is where we're gonna camp. We're not having a fire pit, but we might sit down tonight with the, the map and find a new place to go to tomorrow. But still, this is cool. All right, folks, we gotta read the manual and, and operate the fridge. I pretty much know how, but I wanna just read it. Make sure. Um, yeah, as we're drinking some American honey. Oh yeah! We are camping, okay. folks. Good stuff right here. And we decided we're probably just gonna stay right here if we don't get kicked out, which I doubt we will, because... I haven't seen a single truck since we pulled up. Not even one's gone by. Yeah. So. And the stream's right down the road, so it's actually a pretty good location. Um, but we got a lot more camping trips planned where we're gonna go different parts of the state, so... It's just that we we had both been here when we were kids, and it's been like 25 plus years, you know, since we've been here. So we wanted to do it on our own, and here we are. We we made it. We're on the same roads we drew. It. Our parents took us on when we were kids. His parents took him on. Oh well, yeah, my parents. But Dave's probably been up here, just doesn't realize it. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna enjoy our time. It's probably gonna get a little funky and funny, but. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll see ya. Yeah. All right, so we got a water hole over there. We don't have the we don't have the reservoir filled up and stuff because we don't have batteries and stuff to run the pumps and all that yet. But so we're gonna use that water hole over there to power the toilet so we can have a nice comfortable place to poop. It's gonna be great. So we checked everything out. We got our little holding tank, if you can see it out there, all hooked up. We put some of the sewer stuff in there. Everything's going good. We're having a great time just chilling. And Dave's camper. Dave? What's that? Salt and vinegar. He's eating. And I am the cook this weekend. So we'll get lots of footage of the meals and all that. It was a beer burp. Oh, fucking weed. If we have a problem, we'll walk right out the fucking door. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Welcome to the main ones. We just got done talking to his wife and kids. They're very beautiful people, and I enjoyed every moment. Like, his kids were showing me how that inspired me and then climbed the door for him. Like, I can't do that shit. I'm going to try it, though. Ready? <laughs> no, well, this just is a small door frame. <laughs> small. Very so Dave, small door frame. So, Dave, right now, if you had to say anything to the world, what would you say? Fuck it. I don't know. That's Here we go. He, that's not what he wanted to say. Fuck, it's right. <laughs> Dave, if you, if you say the right thing, you can have a shot of your own whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Shoot whiskey. Eh? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Win. We're having a great time. Somebody's shooting. Yeah, I heard shots. We had some kids pull in earlier. We got a hot dog out there. Said there was a warden somewhere. That's for Sasquatch. All right. I couldn't sit around. I had to go check things out. So we're going to walk down to the stream. So once I get down to the end and around the corner, I'll start the camera. I just don't want to blast a bunch of boring walking. So we thought about parking over there, but it's just like right beside the road and should have. goes down to the stream that way. Bear in mind guys, I've had a few drinks. <laughs> but you know what? I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere. Cars don't even come down the road. I mean, it's used, but I'm having a good time. And I wanted to walk and look at the stream so I ain't hurting nobody. <clears throat> so if you have a problem, too bad for you. Hope you guys enjoy this trip because I am. I'm lighting it out. I'm being a little crazy this time. But look at this. We're gonna try some gold panning. We're gonna try some fishing and we're right next to the stream. Dave doesn't really wanna over to his truck because it's the first time we've used it with a camper and since he's got it fixed, but I'm gonna bring the metal detectors down and Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Cause you never know. Like this probably has nothing in it. I'm gonna get no signals. Who knows? But I bet you it'll be awesome. 
Oh, it's gonna be amazing. There's probably a lot of stuff in here, who knows? Because, but stuff that's gonna be in here is probably gonna be elusive. Who knows? It's like I keep saying, it's gonna be fun. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing all the activities. Tonight we're just getting drunk, being out in the main woods, and enjoying what we have. So, we'll talk to you guys. Dave was gonna come, <laughs> but he might be a little drunk. All right, bye. All right, that's a beautiful stream. We're on our way back. I gotta cook dinner, because Dave has drank a lot, and he needs to eat. So, I need to get back there. Tomorrow is going to be a great day, guys. Watch us. See what we find with the metal detectors and a stream in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be interesting. I'm excited. Probably find nothing. I'm going to be so disappointed, but anyway, it is what it is. Welcome to our trip. Welcome to Doors and Aaron. I'm pretty drunk. Woo! <laughs> Desolate vehicle in the middle of nowhere, but that camper. Most well, amazing camper I've ever been in. Everything works. Everything. It's crazy. Welcome to dinner. Sorry, the camera froze up. There you go. Oh, keep steaming up. Here we go. This is Camper Meals by Aaron. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color. Look at the sausage you're cooking. Oh my god, it's going to be so tasty. Cooked up beautifully. Now I'm going to try to add some condiments without extra hands. It's getting dark. I can still see. Perfect. <coughs> Looks great. Trying to figure out the bed. Day one. I gotta hold the phone. <laughs> We didn't get lights yet. Bear with me. fucking idea I'm just gonna lay down and fall through. Kind of like the best idea. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love it. I'm drunk as shit. And Dave? Well so is he. We won't talk about that. He didn't even eat dinner. Dave never misses dinner. Like this is like staple. But I gotta lay down, guys. I you get all the shit out of the trucks. It's a pretty fun video. It's <laughs> what people do. They get wasted and they go, how do these pillows line up? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go get the shit out of the truck. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. I don't know if it's upside down or backwards. There's still daylight out here. I can see to walk out here. You go outside and it's like, wow. Look at that big giant bo box of beer. Oh, no, 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 blankets because I get out of bed. <laughs> well, good morning. Oh, that must have been a pretty crazy night. I have no idea what I recorded. Got a little buzz. Um, yeah, it was fun. Dave was a little bit too drunk I puked my guts out. yeah he puked all over the place but he's got to pick up these two little pieces of paper towels because it's driving me crazy 
but it was a pretty fun time. Um, we made some some uh, sausages and we made some uh, vegetables last night and had a little bit left over this morning, so I chopped it all up and threw in some eggs, and it was pretty good. We had some bagels with it. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, so it's day number two, and we're getting ready to walk down to the stream and do a little bit of exploring. So we'll try to get some of that on video for you. Um, it's been a pretty good time. Campers have been great. Kept the mosquitoes. I mean, they're so bad up here, like you almost feel like you're flying at times. Um, but if we didn't have that camper, we probably have no blood left. So, but it's fun. So we'll see you when we get down to the stream. Well, all right guys, I gotta clean the screen for you. We are gonna metal detect this dry area here and look around, do some surface searching. Um, then probably here in a little bit, we will take your shoes off because I didn't bring my other boots like a dummy. But I take my shoes off and I'll walk through here and try not to get hooks in my feet, but try to see what's in there because you never know. Probably hundreds and hundreds of people over the years have walked the stream fishing, dropping stuff, so. But yeah, I'm gonna metal detect this and we'll see if we can find something in the middle of nowhere. So we'll see you in a minute. First find of the day. It's off in a grease, a tube of grease. See, told you it would be something. But we're gonna keep going. Well, I've checked all over there, found a pool tab. Uh, and that grease thing and then I just found a washer Yay. But I'm gonna check right through here because it's shallow. I got my shoes off because I didn't bring my other uh, shoes, so But the water's cold and my feet are numb and everything's all good So we're gonna keep checking. All right now I found a fishing lure and we're just going through this brook And found a fishing lure so, we're gonna keep going. All right, we found one single footprint in the middle of nowhere. We're thinking it's a Sasquatch. Hold this melon stick, please. It's definitely not my footprint. It my footprint. Dude, they sank down hard. Like, I just stepped there, look. All my weight, and I barely made a footprint. I bet you they were wearing one of them feet, uh, them, them toe shoes. That's a small foot too, and there's a dog print inside the footprint. Pretty weird. Hmm. Weird. So we found Sasquatch. A baby Sasquatch. Yeah, a baby Sasquatch. Cool. Well, we did a quite a bit of metal detecting in here and didn't find much. But... Found something. Yeah. Found you! Yeah, uh, maybe I'll try doing some metal detecting around where we're camping, in that place where people have been. See if we can find some change, something. We'll see. Alrighty guys, so we are going for a little adventure walk. So I'll record things as we see them. But I'm not going to record the whole thing because it'd be a long, boring walk. But... We don't know what's that way. Nope. So we're gonna go find out. Peace. This was all logged at one point. But these, somebody's camping up in here because these tracks they came down through last night. So there might be somebody near us. Does it look like there's a tree stand or something in that big tree? Nope, we'll find out when we get there though. See, this is why we need to get the trailer and put you side by side. Yeah, see, I told you I heard him come from up there. We walked up this trail road and found power lines. Where did they come from? Probably that way, or off the trail here. This is not really a trail. I don't see tracks. Well, we did a little exploring and some metal detecting and 
everything but i'm starting to have a problem with like a my gland in my neck or something it's hard to swallow on one side so unfortunately we're packing up a little early but it's been super fun um maybe we'll see a few things on the way home um and then we'll go from there but i hope everybody enjoyed it um we wanted to just test out his camper for the first time, bring it up north. Um, you know, and unforeseen circumstances happen, as you can hear it in my voice. Um, but I can't, I, I don't want to camp any longer with my throat hurting. So we're going to pack it up and we're going to head on home. Um, but until the next adventure, keep on naturing. Bye. Secret access. I'm like James Bond right now. Okay. You know what today's date is? Yeah, what month and what year? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm over here. This way! Why didn't the gate was down there? Because you're a little weird. I know. Hello, Aaron. You're awesome, Jess. Yes. I'm going to go grab the vital part and do a quick set of vitals and I'll be right Cool. This is my favorite room in this place. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Your own bathroom. Sweet. Window, TV. Bathroom's okay. here. <laughs> They're trying to turn me into a cyborg. All right. I got some antibiotics. I mean, I got antibiotics. They're pumping me full of antibiotics. But I'm able to eat again. It's getting a little better. I have to eat little pieces at a time. I can't swallow. I had a tonsil. Oh, get infected. Create an abscess. But they're pumping me right full of antibiotics and it's getting better slowly. So I begged them for real food because I couldn't do just pudding. I'm a big boy. I'll be all right though. And the egg salad's actually pretty good. So I'll see everybody tomorrow, and hopefully we can get back out there. Keep on naturing.